Hello everyone, it's Aeon here, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Dragon as a resource inspector. So, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this. So, the first thing that's new is we can now do amalgamations of pack files. Um, it's a really awesome feature, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. The next thing we can do is we can search things. As you can see, there's a little search icon in the little top corner, and there's a relevance and there's a limit. I will get into that a little bit later. The next thing I want to talk about is the ability to export. And the last thing I want to talk about is the ability to clear temporary files. So I'm actually just going to go run through this. Ooh, that's the amalgamation finishing. I'm just going to run through this and I'm going to look for a file that I can open. Because I cannot open all of these files. Okay, I can open this file. So when you open a file, you get to see the information regarding that file. But there's one problem. The problem is the data from that file needs to be stored somewhere in order for it to be opened, and the place it gets stored is here. Now previously you had to actually know this in order to empty this thing, and you had to empty it manually, but now with clear temp files we no longer need to do that because the program will clear the files for you. The next thing I'm going to show you is the ability to um, what folder was I in? The ability to export. So I want to export this into a new folder too. And we're going to do so. And we're going to go check that new folder now to see where it has been. Oh, there it is. Everything has been exported here. Now another really cool feature is the ability to export everything. Now you're going to have to bear with me a little bit because this is actually an incredibly slow process. The reason is because these contain these files contain gigabytes worth of data. And it takes the computer a little bit of time to find space on the disk and actually put that data there. So as a result, you'll also notice that the computer is actually going to be a tad laggy. Did I press the button though? Ah, there it is. So I'm going to make a new folder, and yeah, and I'm going to export it there. So as you're going to see, the Dragon Nest Resource Inspector is going to lock up temporarily while it's doing this export. You will not be able to touch it, you will not be able to do anything with it, so please use this with discretion, even with a very fast processor, this is going to take some time. Um, so I'm going to just quite jump while this is going on, I'm going to jump into the search functionality. So the search functionality has two, two numbers, relevance and limit. Limit is the number of entries that are going to be included in the search. And relevance is going to talk about how relevant the search is. If you know exactly what you're going to be searching for, you want to have a high relevancy level. If you don't know how, what you're searching for, you want to have a low relevancy level. Relevancy is actually a percentage and it ranges between 0 and 100. 0 meaning it has no relevance and 100 meaning it's 100% relevant. Now what happens is it checks to, the search algorithm checks to see what the name of the actual file is, the name here, and the, the actual path of the file is inside of the D, um, inside of the pack file. Once it finds that information, it's going to compare the string that you've inputted against that information, and it's going to come up with a score between one and one hundred. Depending on what that score is, will de will determine. Sorry, the order of the results you get will be determined by the order in which those scores are in. For example. Let's say I want to put a relevance of 1 and a limit of 1, and I also want to search for cleric. I can do so, and I will get this. Now let's say I want to put a limit of 2, and do that again. We get two different things. Now you'll notice that this doesn't really seem to have anything to do with clerics. That's because the relevancy is set to a really low number. So you're going to have to kind of watch out for that. Um, other than that, there's not too much going on. Um, everything is basically still included. You have the amalgamation, which is this stuff. So now we can see the amalgamated data. You have some new icons that I hope you really like. And we have some additional information, such as the original size and the compressed size of the, um, of the information that we're trying to access. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward, pretty eau claire, um, nothing too amazing. We still have all of the basic functionality that we had before. We can still pick all of the stuff. Oh, that fell on the screen. 
can still pick between the pack files. Now, there's one thing you'll need to know is that is that we no longer have the names of files here. The names of the files are now in the status bar at the bottom, and when you have multiple files, they're separated by a semicolon. Um, you can also use this new button to open these new things. Pack files have been expanded to package files, and we can still use the show link and um, I'm not sure, I believe I did cover clear temp files actually. So that's it for this update. Um, let me know how everything is working. Um, it should be fairly intuitive. I do not recall finding any bugs while I was debugging. Um, all of the cool stuff is there, it should be there. So try it out, tell me how it is, tell me any suggestions. And um, I think that's it for now. Later.